welcome to my channel. This episode is all about new baby sleep patterns. What does new baby sleep even look like? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you and it's going to take away any of that guesswork or wondering if what your baby's doing is typical or not. We're going to cover it all. So the first thing I want to do to set your expectations is to let you know that new babies sleep a lot. Newborns sleep roughly 14 to 17 hours per 24 hours. So in every 24 hours, about 14 to 17 of those are sleep. Some babies will do even more, so don't think that's the limit either. <laughs> and also, they are only going to really be okay to be awake for 45 minutes at a time. So if your new baby is awake, maybe you've got visitors, they've come to see the newborn and that awake time goes longer than 45 minutes, then they're really going to be going into an overtired place, which you don't want them to do. So keeping one eye on your baby and one eye on the time is quite handy. Of course, they're going to give you some signs and, and cues, but knowing if they've been awake for 45 minutes or more is going to definitely help you out. They also tend to, new babies tend to want to eat, i.e. consume milk, um, roughly every two to four hours. Now, that will depend upon things like their birth weight, um, how, you know, what capacity they have for onboarding milk. Some will um, struggle, they may have tongue tie, they may have reflux, they may only be able to take on a little bit at a time and therefore need to feed more frequently. Others will perhaps feed very efficiently and be able to go a good three or four hours between feeds right from the get-go. That can happen too. But as a ballpark, every two to four hours, a new baby is going to need to eat. So to set your expectations, if this is the first baby you've had, just know that there's not gonna be any sort of sleeping through eight hours um, a night anymore because your baby is gonna wake and they will need feeding. But don't worry, that's not forever. It's short term. And I have an episode coming up very soon, actually, which will help you with exactly that and help you with coping with newborn um, sleep and wake patterns. So stick around for that episode. Now, what else can you expect from newborn sleep patterns? So they're going to sleep a lot. They're going to be awake for very little pockets of time and they're going to need to be fed every two to four hours. What can you do to help with this? So what, bedtime routine is the one thing that I would suggest you can do or implement right from the get-go that will help to get your little one into really good healthy sleep and wake patterns. So um, a routine will show them that, oh, this part of the day is different to the, all the other 24 hours and these are the things we do and basically just set the scene for nighttime. And you're just helping to show them the difference between night and day. That can be easier when daylight is on our side and it gets light in the morning and dark in the evening, but there are certain times of year where that just doesn't happen at the ideal time for their sleep. So we have to use blacking out of daylight or turning on of lights or whatever way round it is at that time of year to just try help them. And what this will do is help their body clock, their circadian rhythms. Um, and that will encourage them that, ah, oh, well, after we do the bathroom stuff and then we go into this room and, and we do these things, this is when they're going to do their longer stretch of sleep. And you, you're just going to encourage that. It's not going to happen straight away. Don't expect it to happen straight away. Don't expect to do a lovely bedtime routine at 6 p.m. and then your baby sleeps for four hours. You know, maybe they will, maybe they won't, but they will be more likely to get there and do their best stretch if you set the scene with these um, cues and triggers to show them that this is nighttime now, bedtime is coming. So during the day, they're having their, their little naps and wake times, and then there's this different thing that happens and helps to set the scene for that longer stretch to come in when they're ready. So that's really how newborn sleep patterns work. That's sort of what they look like. Of course, there are all different and there are variations, but this is to give you an overview of generally what newborn sleep is like. Waking up and sleeping frequently and you know that's what their patterns are like so in the next episode i am going to talk all about the new parent and coping as i said before those coping strategies um for when they are waking frequently in the night and just how you can manage because 
they are fine. They wake up, they get fed, they go to sleep, everything's easy for a baby. But for you, it can be really tough. It can be a real shock to the system. And our bodies are not used to you know, not getting those big chunks of sleep that we actually really want. Um, so come back to me for the next episode and I will share with you some tips to help you through those early weeks and um, quickly smooth things out so that you are getting those sleep hours back where you want them. Okay, you take care and I will see you very soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.